I'm here to interview Tamas Slezak of Moveo in the hope that he'll let me have a free one of his sports cars, which are <laughs> over there. I don't think I'm going to succeed, but actually, jokes aside, this is a very exciting company involved in a whole range of electric vehicles, and I want to hear the story. So please tell us what is unique about them and what is your plan for rolling out your business? Yes. So uh, we have developed uh, a foldable electric scooter, which is which has the name Moveo. Yes. And it's uh, it, it, has, it is made from carbon composite uh, lightweight body. Yes. Yes. And uh, it's foldable, as you say, which yes. is un very unusual. You said that in your talk that I he heard. Yes. That's right. So it's a it's a full full size moped. It's yes. A, it's a full size uh, motorcycle. Which uh, which is addition which has the additional value to be foldable. So yes, when you need, yes, you can yes. put in your in the trunk of your car, or you yes. can put uh, in a yacht or a yes. motorhome. That's. Uh, but you said I, in your I talk. Show? You said yes, please. You said in your talk that you don't think people fold it often. Uh, so it's a secondary benefit. Yes. But you have designed now a, a full scale proper scooter. Should, should I drive it? Yes. A little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, run over a few minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's incredible. It's very light. So, um, carbon fiber and folding and all that, that sounds expensive. Um, is it top of the market as a product in pricing? Uh, I think no. It's uh, it's uh, about three thousand euros. So well, it's not not not, not, high. not much higher than that. normal scooters. That's like remarkable. But we okay. and, and the cluster there that you have is that uh, um, looks very elegant design. Yes. Can you tell us about it? Yes, it's all. Uh, this is our uh, proper design, uh, and my colleagues uh, like this. Rounded shape, and we we call it or, or, organic design. Yes, yes, absolutely. I like it. I think it's excellent. Where where is this made? It is uh, made in Hungary. So we we had a yes. te team of uh, more and than you, of course, are Hungarian. Than, yes, 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 yes. We had a team of more than ten uh, engineers, electrical and mechanical engineers. So it's the yes. design is totally uh, new, and uh, this side can be folded. Uh, maybe the folding I would show on the red one. So I have to take it out. So that's the folding. We can put uh, this, okay, this side in for storage. Yes. Yes. Store. Yes. Yes. One minute about. Just, uh, just the prototypes. <laughs> and we are looking for investors to yes. begin production. So when you get the investors, I'm sure you will with a product as superb as that. You um, would dream of selling a hundred a year, a thousand a year. What, what magnitude, uh, roughly? I mean, 
So we, we are looking for an investment of 2.5 million euros, right. which would be enough to produce 5,000 pieces per year. Right, and the, the market would obviously stand that. I mean, Europe as a whole is yes. taking uh, so that's for Europe. two wheelers. It's taking, what, one and a half million now, maybe? Okay, can we move on to this car, which you're not going to give me? <laughs> uh, I heard a little of your talk, but the people who are watching this video don't know what I heard, so I'd like to begin at the beginning. Yes. Uh, you've done some really exciting things because you've worked with, uh, from my country, a Protean with the in-wheel motors, which have built-in redundancy, yes. don't they? They're really several motors in one motor, so they're a very clever product. And uh, you're doing four-wheel drive, vectored steering? Yes, that's a four-wheel drive. Uh... Super, super lightweight, uh, super sports car, and uh, what you told about the in-wheel motors, they have a redundancy, so it, it's actually two motors in one, yeah. so if something breaks down, yeah. uh, Which is it brilliant. functions more. Brilliant, and, and this is, you see this as a platform, don't you? This isn't just one yes, body. Yes, that's a functioning platform, so the body is not, not yet ready. But, uh, but the chassis, as you, you will see on the next slides, is, is ready and functioning. Uh, it has a range, electric, pure electric range of 100 kilometers, and we, we will build in a range extender made, yes. made it from a and you said 600, I think 600 kilometers with the range extender. Yes. If you add the two together, would be total which is, is great. And. Um, so what other innovation is there there? Is you, are the um, motor controllers yes, different? The, or? To, the total electronic would, was made by also. So we, we have both uh, uh, the in-wheel motors we, yes. we have both and also the battery yeah. and, uh, and the charger. But everything else is made by all uh, our uh, engineers. Of course, team. the, the, uh, the Protean motor has its own controller within yes. it, doesn't yes. it? Of course, yes. I, right. I, they, yeah. But so you're doing uh, power, other power electronics. So it, here it, you can see the charger, and beneath is the uh, yes. battery. And yes. in the in the back would be built the range extender. And this is a plug-in vehicle. This is a plug-in electric vehicle because those are the ones that are selling really fast now, aren't they? The 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 in some countries um, the hybrids that do not plug in are dying, uh, mm -hmm. but the plug-in hybrids are selling, in, in some countries they've gone up 80% yes, in a year, haven't they? So right. you're following a very big wave there, the, the real demand. Here you can see the range extender and it's... And, it's, and that's uh, unusual, in that's a Vankel engine. That's a Vankel engine. Because uh, normally Vankel engines, and yes, ah, right. small and light. It yeah. has some problems with the... Uh, with the uh, Hammer test? See they, they used to have problems with efficiency and, and with and sealant, yes. sealing, uh, but they're used in unmanned aerial vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, aren't they? And there are other versions that are being developed by other people who are, that are advances on the basic wrangle, so there is a future path of development. Mm -hmm. Who makes that for you? It's a German company, uh, Eichstro. Eichstro. Eichstro, yes, yes, Eichstro. yes, I see. Oh, that's interesting. So. Um, an advantage also would be there's much less noise, vibration and so on from a rotary device right. compared with a piston engine and you can mount it in different positions more easily, can't yeah. you? A piston engine has to be upright usually. That's right. Um, so it's much more versatile. But this is not a drop-in get-you-home range extender, this is a permanently fitted serious range yes. extender, isn't yes. it? So, so that's, that's why we, we, ca we, call, we, we call the car not a uh, not a hybrid because yeah. it's a range extended electric vehicle because Absolutely. it can work only electric so yeah. there is no hybrid. It's a, it's a serious hybrid in, in that in, in jargon the, perhaps. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, that, that's wonderful. So um, when, to a consumer, um, what do you think will be the most exciting, unique when they buy it? Do you think the people you're going to sell to are going to be techies, nerds, who, who will know about things like in-wheel motors, or is it going to be more a case of they want the particular range or something? So uh, it will be a, it's a super car, yeah. super sports car, which could be, uh, could be manufactured in, in a very small series, so maybe 10, 20 or 30 pieces. So it would be, every car would be personalized 
Yeah. And there is uh, no other supercar which is range extended electric. So there are supercars yeah. made hybrid, which yeah. has big motors, big S engines. Three usually, yes. yes. Yeah. So, Huge engines with yeah. huge, huge, huge uh, but, but power. This, but, that's but there's no no supercar which is uh, electric and uh, with a small range extender. Yeah. And because we uh, we have this range extender, if we put in a, a bigger gasoline tank, now it's only 600, only 600 kilometers range. But if we put in a little bit bigger gasoline tank, it can be 1,000 kilometer range. And there is, I think, there are no other uh, sports cars, electric sports cars, that, that would have so long range. So I think that's a, that's that a point. Maybe the nearest is the BMW i8, which is also a two-seater and also a series hybrid, and it's a piston engine, it's a three-cylinder three yeah. piston engine, but it has a somewhat similar specification, does it? Uh, yes, but the acceleration of B BMW e e8 is maybe above five, five seconds. Yes. So and even, even the Tesla has better acceleration than the BMW. I and, and what is your acceleration? 3.2. I see. I it's see. a thousand newton meter per. Yeah, yeah. Wheel. Yeah. And with vectored steering and yeah. four-wheel drive, it will have an incredible. It's totally other. Yeah. Not it road <laughs> and snow, ice. Great, okay, well, um, I'm sorry I didn't persuade you to let me have one because I know you're going to be very successful, you're brilliant. Uh, no, I don't want to pay... <laughs> I, I, uh, I think if, I think if, you, if, if you find for us an uh, investor for, <laughs> okay. for, for producing no, that small wonderful. cities, then the first There we are, there's a businessman all the way, <laughs> that's wonderful. No, seriously, jokes aside, but, uh, that's it's wonderful. It's not a joke. I, how, much I money, how much money do you want to raise, uh, by so the way? We, we would uh, raise uh, 5.8 million euros. Uh, euros for the yeah. for this that super sounds car sensible, project doesn't it? Yeah, and 2.5 for the scooter. On the basis of that, you will be selling products. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good luck. I think it's wonderful to see the engineering <laughs> around Europe, and uh, it's it's uh, not all in Germany. <laughs> so it, the European countries have superb complementary skills, and it's marvelous to see. Thank you very Thank much. You. Marvelous. <laughs>